Hallelujah. I don't sing or play an instrument, but when the joyful noise takes a break, they let me do my thing. My thing is telling people about the love that God has for them. God's love is a favorite subject of mine because for so long in my life, I didn't know what it was. The first 18 years of my life were filled with hunger and hate. Hate for a world that had left me hungry, both physically and spiritually. My earliest memory is when I was six years old. I beat up an old lady and stole her loaf of bread because I was hungry, and so was my brother and sister. But one day I met a guy who showed me love. He liked me for what I was, not what he could get out of me. I didn't believe it. That was too strange for my world, so I took him for what I could get before he could take me. But he didn't mind, and God kept right on loving me through this guy and his mother. One day, God showed me just how great his love is. He sent this same friend, Jim Ansel, to delay me from keeping an appointment. I was to have gone with some guys to rob a gas station, but I just couldn't get rid of Jim. And soon it was too late to go. The next day, I learned that the boys had been caught. One of them was wounded. I just praised God for loving me enough to send Jim to delay me that night. You know, God loves each one of us, you and me, so much that he sent his son Jesus to die on the cross to pay for our sins. God knew that we couldn't overcome our sins by ourselves, so he's made available to us his power to become the sons of God. All we have to do is trust in him and accept his gift of salvation. The Bible says there is no salvation in any other name but Jesus Christ. Would you like to have the peace and hope that God's love has given to me? You can have it. Jesus said, I stand at the door and knock. If any man will open the door, I will come into him. If you want to ask Jesus to come into your heart, just say this little prayer along with me. Dear Father, I know I am a sinner and I need your forgiveness. I believe that Christ died for my sins and rose from death to give me eternal life. I now ask Jesus to come into my heart as my own personal Savior, and I ask for the power of the Holy Spirit to fill me that I might be able to follow and obey Christ as the Lord of my life. I ask all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, if you said this prayer sincerely, then I'll meet you in heaven on Judgment Day. Praise the Lord. Amen.